Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate center of gravity of a T-beam. Okay, first of all, I like to explain what is center of gravity. Center of gravity is a point in any section where our section become parallel, where our section have proper equilibrium. Okay, so in this case, we have a T-beam, T-section. We have divided our T-beam into two parts. One is lower part and one is upper part. So the idea is we have to calculate first of all area of the section individually. We have to calculate x-axis, then y-axis, and then later we can put all the numbers in one equation to get our final center of gravitational point where our T-beam can be parallel. First of all, this is our shape 1. Okay, So this is our shape 2. What we will do, we will do area shape 1, okay, area 1 is going to be 80 multiplied by 40, okay, 80 multiplied by 40, it will be 3200 centimeter square, then we will calculate x1, okay, what is x1, x1 we have to count it from our origin point to the end, so in this case, our from origin point to the end is 120 centimeter. So it will be 120 divided by 2 is going to be 60 centimeter. Then we have to calculate y1. y1 we have to check along y axis. So we have x axis, then we have y axis. We calculated our x1 according to x axis. Now we have to calculate y1 according to y axis. From If we check from y axis, from 0 till the top of uh, till the bottom of second section we have 80 centimeter so it will be 80 divided by 2 is going to be 40 centimeter okay now we have to do shape 2 similarly area 2 is going to be 120 multiplied by 40 is going to be 4800 centimeter square square centimeter sorry then we have x2 x2 is going to be 120 divided by 2 similar to this from x axis to the end it will be 60 centimeter then we have y2 okay y2 we have to consider it from the bottom to the top of our section how we can do that Obviously, Y2, first of all, we have to find out how much is in the middle of this section, which is 20 centimeter, for example. Is here is 20 centimeter. Then, 20 till the bottom of X line is going to be 80. 80 plus 20 is going to be 100. 40 divided by 2 plus 80. So, the Y axis would be 100 centimeter in this case. For this uh, shape 2. Now we have calculated A1, X1, Y1 for shape 2, A2, X2 and Y2. Now we have to put all these numbers into one equation to get our X axis. Okay, first of all is X axis or you can say that X bar, sorry it's X bar not X axis, it's X bar. X bar is going to be A1, X1 plus A2, x2 divided by a1 plus a2 3200 multiply by 60 plus 4800 multiply by 60 again divided by 32000 sorry 3200 plus 4800 and the x bar would be 60 centimeter okay now we have to calculate y bar we have calculated x bar now we have to calculate y bar okay y bar would be a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 okay so it will be 33200 multiply by 60 plus 4800 multiplied by 
hundred divided by three thousand two hundred plus four thousand eight hundred. So the y bar would be our eighty four centimeter. Okay. It means if we travel from y axis from bottom to y axis from zero to y, we have to go up by eighty four centimeter. And eighty-four centimeter is somewhere here. Okay, so this is our new point, which is here. Eighty-four is somewhere here. Okay, x axis or x sorry x bar is sixty centimeter, and it means if we travel from zero to x axis, is going to be sixty centimeter. Okay, now we have to cross our y point. So from here to there is forty plus twenty because middle of this forty is twenty. So it'll be from here to there, and then from bottom to the top. So our center of gravitational point would be for T section will be sixty comma eighty four centimeter. Obviously, so it mean if we travel eighty four centimeter from bottom to y axis and from sixty centimeter from zero to x axis. we will reach to a point where our t section would be in the state of equilibrium i hope you have understood what i am trying to explain that's it for today thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel